And now please welcome to the stage DARPA systems engineer, Nils Sandell. Morning. Our society is increasingly dependent upon complex systems and complex systems of systems. A new car may contain over 100 computers which do everything from decide when to shift gears to providing you information on how to get to your destination. The US electric energy grid, which keeps the lights on in your home and the lights on in this hall, including the ones that are shining in my eyes at this moment, has over 15,000 generators in it. Each of these generators is itself a complex system controlled by dozens of computers. In the military, a complex air operation may involve hundreds of aircraft, each aircraft containing in itself over 100 computers, which help to fly the aircraft, to control the navigation systems, displays, communication links, sensors, electronic warfare systems, and weapons that are on board the aircraft. And of course, even these examples pale in uh, complexity compared to the future that Alberto just uh, outlined. For a complex system of systems to do a task, the component systems have to exchange messages to be able to coordinate. And it's necessary that these systems understand the syntax and the semantics of these messages. So the usual way in which this is accomplished is by definition of standards. These standards may be local and proprietary to a given company, or they may be open and global like internet standards. In either case, they're generally documented in the form of text. So how do these standards get uh, defined? Generally, a group of people gets around a table, argues about this and that until they come to a conclusion about uh, you know, what's the minimum necessary, and then they call that a uh, standard. It's difficult to get everyone around the table at the same time, so often you'll find that there are multiple competing standards that are incompatible with one another. The uh, uh, standards documentation that's produced is usually difficult for anybody to understand apart from the individuals who wrote it in the first place, although it's very handy for hackers trying to break into the, uh, into the system. Uh, in total, you know, the, uh, the, the, the process is so complex and cumbersome that once a standard gets defined, it's very hard to modify it, so the standards themselves may become barriers to technological innovation. So in our research on complex systems design, DARPA has had a recent breakthrough that addresses uh, many of these issues. We've developed an approach that requires only pairwise agreement between system designers rather than a global group uh, consensus. And we think that this will address uh, many of the issues that I just outlined. So how does it work? We've developed a distributed graph structure that enables system designers to specify the maps, the semantic and the syntactic maps between data fields in messages. This distributed structured GAF uh, can then be used to automatically instantiate a minimal interface that's optimized for the particular application. It's even possible by tracing through the links in this graph to construct an interface between systems where the system designers have never even talked to one another before. They haven't been in communication uh, uh, at all. We're able to use automated logic checking to be able to verify the consistency of the synthesized data paths. So uh, because of the fact that uh, the construction of the interface is machine generated, it's automated, we can actually build in state-of-the-art cyber defenses without any additional effort by the designers. So where are we on this technology? Uh, to date, it's been used in small-scale de de uh, demonstrations by the system designers. However, later this month, we're going to be evaluating this technology and similar technologies that have been developed under our program in systems engineering laboratory experimentations by third-party designers to evaluate the methodologies. Those that prove most promising will then be used in our flight experimentation program for further uh, validation. So in conclusion, I believe that we're on a uh, very interesting uh, path uh, in which we learn to wrangle complexity 
to develop systems that behave more reliably and safely for the benefit of our society. So thank you for your attention.